In this video, we'll show you how to set your target torque for your QX Series tool. After unlocking your tool, press the right arrow key. The first setting option decides whether you want to do a target torque or a target angle. In this case, we want to do a target torque indicated by the wrench icon. Press the down arrow. You'll decide your tightening direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. In this case, we want clockwise. Press the down arrow. This setting option, you choose your torque units. In this case, we want Newton meters, indicated by the NM. Press the down arrow. This is where you set your target torque. Press the check button. Notice that the background turns black. This indicates you are in edit mode. Using the up and down, left and right arrow keys, set your target torque. In this case, we want to target 12 Newton meters. Press the left arrow key to add another digit, then navigate to the second digit and change it to 2. When you're happy with your target torque, press the check button to save the setting. The system will automatically enter your high and low target limits and also set your speeds and angle limits by default. If you use the down arrow, you can navigate to the icon that looks like a floppy disk and press the check button two times to save your settings. Once this is completed, you'll be ready to run your target torque. To verify that your target torque was properly saved, press the down arrow one time. Notice that 12 newton meters is shown in the top of the window alongside the target icon. You're now ready to run 12 newton meters of torque with your QX series tool.